Subsonic cruise missiles are a type of missile that travels at speeds below the speed of sound, typically between Mach 0.6 to Mach 0.9. Their flight path is usually at low altitudes, by flying close to the ground or water. Subsonic cruise missiles minimize their radar signature, making it harder for enemy defense systems to track and intercept them. These missiles are important for delivering accurate strikes on high-value targets while avoiding detection and interception. And today we will compare two of these missiles. India's Nirbay versus Israel's Blue Spear subsonic missile. The Nirbay is India's first indigenously developed long-range, subsonic cruise missile, created by the Defense Research and Development Organization DRDO. It was designed to meet the country's strategic needs for a versatile weapon capable of striking both land and sea targets. On the other hand, the Blue Spear, developed as a joint venture between Israel Aerospace Industries and Singapore's ST Engineering, is a state-of-the-art anti-ship missile designed specifically for naval warfare. Coming to the design first, the Nirbay has a cylindrical design with a length of 6 meters and a diameter of 0.5 meters. Its total launch weight ranges between 1,500 to 1,600 kilograms. The missile features a deployable wingspan, designed for long-range, low-altitude flight, which enhances its maneuverability, allowing it to engage both land and sea targets with precision. On the other hand, the Blue Spear has a length of 4.3 meters and a weight of around 1,250 kilograms. It has a diameter of approximately 0.45 meters. The Blue Spear's wings and control surfaces are optimized for maneuverability in naval combat environments, but, in terms of design and dimensions, Nirbay offers more versatility. When we talk about the range of the Nirbay, it has a maximum range between 800 to 1,000 kilometers. It is designed to fly at low altitudes, typically between 100 to 4,000 meters, depending on the mission requirements. The missile's ability to fly at such low altitudes helps it evade enemy radar systems. On the other hand, the Blue Spear has a range of approximately 290 kilometers, similar to Nirbay. It flies at sea-skimming altitudes, which means it stays close to the water surface, typically around 10 to 20 meters. This low-altitude flight path makes it hard for enemy ships to detect and intercept, but, Nirbay's longer range makes it more adaptable for a wider variety of missions, giving it the advantage in this section. Talking about the speed, the Nirbay operates at a subsonic speed, reaching up to Mach 0.7, which is around 864 km per hour. This speed allows it to travel long distances while maintaining a low profile to evade radar systems. On the other hand, the Blue Spear also flies at subsonic speeds, similar to Nirbay. It travels at around Mach 0.8, which is about 980 km per hour. This ensures it can reach naval targets with enough time for precise adjustments in the final phase of its flight. Given the slight speed advantage of Blue Spear, it has the edge in terms of reaching naval targets faster. Let's talk about guidance systems. The Nirbay uses an inertial navigation system, which helps the missile autonomously calculate its position and GPS for mid-course corrections. During the terminal phase of its flight, Nirbay is guided by an active radar seeker, which locks onto the target to ensure a precise hit. This combination of guidance systems allows Nirbay to achieve a high degree of accuracy, often cited as a circular error probability of around 20 to 30 meters. Talking about Blue Spear, it primarily uses an active radar seeker during the terminal phase, which enables it to track and hit moving maritime targets with high precision, like Nirbay. It is believed to have a low SEP, but exact figures are not commonly available. So, in terms of guidance systems, Nirbay's combination of GPS and radar seeker gives it a slight edge in multi-environment targeting. When we talk about warhead, the Nirbay has a maximum payload capacity of 450 kilograms, and it can be equipped with high-explosive warheads, submunitions, and potentially a nuclear warhead. The nuclear warhead option could have a yield of up to 12 kilodons. On the other hand, the Blue Spear has a smaller payload capacity compared to Nirbay. It can carry a maximum payload of 150 kilograms, typically comprising a high-explosive warhead only. This warhead is designed to penetrate the hulls of enemy ships and cause significant damage. So, in terms of payload capacity, Nirbay clearly has the upper hand due to its higher flexibility and destructive potential. Let's speak about propulsion systems. The Nirbay uses a two-stage propulsion system. During launch, it is powered by a solid rocket booster, which helps it gain initial speed and altitude. 
Once the booster phase is complete, the solid rocket is jettisoned, and the missile switches to its turbojet engine for cruising. The turbojet engine allows Nearbay to maintain subsonic speeds and provides the necessary thrust to travel long distances. On the other hand, the Blue Spear utilizes only a turbojet engine as its primary propulsion system, like Nearbay. It operates at subsonic speeds, once airborne. The turbojet engine propels it toward its target, while both missiles use turbojets. Nearbay's two-stage system offers more flexibility, giving it a slight advantage in terms of propulsion. When we talk about launch platforms, the Nearbay is primarily launched from land-based mobile launchers, which are typically truck-mounted systems. These launchers provide mobility and flexibility, allowing the missile to be deployed from various locations. In the future, Nearbay is expected to be integrated into submarine platforms, allowing it to be launched from submarines' torpedo tubes. On the other hand, the Blue Spear is primarily launched from surface ships equipped with vertical launch systems. The missile is optimized for sea-based operations, with its launchers typically mounted on frigates and corvettes, while both missiles have versatile launch platforms. Nearbay's ability to launch from both land and sea gives it an edge in deployment flexibility. Talking about stealth technology, while both Nearbay and Blue Spear are not specifically marketed as stealth missiles, one of Nearbay's key stealth features is its ability to fly at very low altitudes, often just a few meters above the ground or water surface. This low-altitude flight, known as terrain hugging or sea skimming, helps the missile evade radar detection by staying below the radar horizon. Same like Nearbay, Blue Spear uses sea skimming flight, which is a key stealth feature for naval missiles. Flying close to the water surface makes it much harder for enemy ships to detect the missile with radar or engage it with defense systems, but Nearbay's multi-environment terrain hugging feature gives it a slight advantage. When we talk about potential damage, if Nearbay is equipped with a nuclear warhead, the exact damage radius depends on the yield of the nuclear payload and environmental factors but a 12 kiloton nuclear warhead can have a blast radius extending to 1 to 2 kilometers for immediate destruction, with broader effects such as radiation and shockwaves impacting a larger area. On the other hand, the damage radius from the Blue Spear's warhead is much smaller compared to Nearbay, typically affecting the immediate vicinity of a target, such as within 50 to 100 meters. However, when it strikes a vessel, the damage could lead to the sinking of ships within several hundred meters of its strike point but the Nearbay clearly has the upper hand in terms of potential damage due to its nuclear capability. Talking about cost, the Nearbay is estimated to cost around $1.5 million per unit, which is roughly 12.5 crore rupees. Nearbay's development has aimed at providing India with a versatile and cost-effective option for various mission profiles. On the other hand, the Blue Spear is significantly more expensive, with a unit cost of approximately $5 million, equivalent to around 41.5 crore rupees. This higher cost is due to its advanced technology, specifically its anti-ship capabilities, which include a sophisticated guidance system and radar seeker. So, in terms of cost, Nearbay is clearly the more economical option. In summary, both the Nearbay and Blue Spears are advanced subsonic cruise missiles, each designed to excel in different aspects of modern warfare. Which missile do you think has the edge in modern combat scenarios? Let us know in the comments below. That's it for today's comparison. Make sure to like, share, and subscribe for more defense updates and comparisons. See you in the next video.